I'm always on the lookout for rusty subjects because they make for great photos. All of that crisp detail and nice contrasting colors. And I found a perfect example here with this rusty flagpole. Now what I'm gonna do is really fill the frame with this shot. This is gonna be the main hero subject. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is see exactly how close this phone can focus because some focus closer than others. So line up your shot, position the subject roughly where you want it, and then simply tap on it to focus. Now this may seem pretty obvious, but you may be surprised to find that some phones can actually struggle with this kind of subject, preferring to focus on the background or asking that you stand a little bit further back. But we're gonna be taking lots of pictures of it, focusing on different portions to give the camera the best chance of getting a focused image. Under these lighting conditions, it's actually quite hard to tell whether that picture is completely sharp on the main subject or not. So we're just gonna take quite a few as insurance. Now, when you do manage to focus on a close subject, you'll notice that the background becomes nicely blurred. This is a shallow depth of field effect that can look so nice in your photos. And we can actually accentuate that effect on some phones by choosing a portrait mode. Now, portrait modes are normally designed for taking pictures of people with blurred backgrounds, but they can work equally well for non-human subjects. So, if your phone has got a portrait mode, give it a shot. The one thing that you might need to watch out for is that some portrait modes do require you to step a little bit further away from the subject, so it's a case of experimenting. After that, it's a case of composing your shot. While I was actually moving around this view to see how it looked, I noticed not only these lines on the shutter here converging in and focusing your attention on the background, but in the background is this little building that looks nice and blurred. So you could actually move the camera up or down to position this flagpole almost alongside it. And those lines are gonna really lead you into the shot. So once you're happy with this composition, again, tap your subject because your camera will almost certainly have tried to refocus on something else and take several versions because once again, focusing on something this close is gonna be a real challenge for a lot of phones. And you wanna maximize your chances of getting a shot that is in sharp focus. And if the portrait mode isn't working out for you, just go back to the normal photo mode. And again, try a few different versions. Right, I think I've got a few nice shots there, so let's take a look. This first shot illustrates what can go wrong when you're taking a picture of something close up. The subject isn't in focus. Unfortunately, the phone has focused on the background here. It could be my fault, it could be the phone's fault, it could just be bad luck. And that's why I suggested earlier that you should just keep re-tapping the subject and taking the picture again and again. Because it might be that your phone is just struggling to focus that close and could be thinking, hey, don't we want this in focus instead? Well, we don't, not in this case. In this shot, I've managed to successfully focus on the subject. And in doing so, not only do you see the crisp details, those nice rusty parts, but you can also see how you get this nice fall off, this blurring on the left-hand side. That looks quite attractive by itself, but I remember there being a composition where I had something more interesting in the distant background. In this shot, you can see I've included this building that I noticed in the background. And once again, because I'm focused on the main subject, it's become really nicely blurred, but you can still see these leading lines from the shutter behind it, drawing your eye over there. But this is still the hero of this picture, this rusty flagpole holder. And what I've done here is also use the phone's portrait mode to accentuate that blurring in the background. Sometimes you have to be a bit careful about adjusting your focusing distance. That can change in some portrait modes, but here it's worked quite well. I did need to keep tapping the subject though and keep taking more pictures to maximize my chances of getting one that's nice and sharp.